and if your goal is to get a spot on that day, 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 Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not, go ahead. You know what to do. <laughs> um, today, I just wanted to talk about something really quickly, um, something that I've been dealing with and a bunch of my friends have been dealing with. Um, we've gotten this question quite a few times and I just wanted to address it. So, let's jump in. So today, we're going to talk about the danger I call it the danger, but people say when you talk about pressure, the pressure of um, being single or the pressure of people wanting you to get married like this. Um, I would say it is a danger. Um, I would say it's a danger. It's not even a pressure. It's at this point, it's a danger. Don't fall into the danger. Don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into people's idea of you or people's dreams and goals and aspiration for you. Um, it's good for your family to dream for you or it's good for your friends to want you to be in their group, in their clique, in their, you know, you know married girls clique or moms of young children, moms of toddlers, moms of new babies, click. Don't get sucked into it. I guess I'm just, I'm just encouraging you because I've also dealt with it and I am facing it as you also are. That's why I'm getting all these questions. Um, marriage is very serious. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Marriage is very eternal. It's very binding. I don't even want to go down that line, but marriage is just very serious for you to mortgage it for an Instagram post, <laughs> for you to mortgage your entire life for a Facebook post. Statistically speaking, when people get married or if they have a baby, they hit like a milestone in their life. That's when you get a lot of likes, thumbs up, comments. And then you know the thing on Facebook where it does congratulations and turns into like yellow or orange with the poof or the ribbons flying around. That's good. You know, it's nice to get likes and comments and feedback and having the world celebrate you. But there's nothing that I want to have. There's nothing man-made. There's nothing ephemeral that I would mortgage my peace for I would mortgage my mind for I will mortgage my marital destiny for marriage is serious um, even relationships I don't take relationships as casual because relationships can mar you or they can bless you I always tell my friends that God when God wants to bless you he will send a person into your life he will send a relationship into your life. He will send a relationship your way. And when the enemy wants to mar you, when the enemy wants to destroy you, he'll send a person into your life. He'll send a relationship into your life. So I want you to be careful um, how you absorb what people bring your way. I have a filter. I have many filters. I have a mouth filter. I have a emotions filter. I have so many filters. And that's when I put up my filter. I filter out what people are saying to me. I fil filter out Literally, when even spiritual people, when they're talking to me and they're giving me advice, I always ask God, like, what is the spirit behind what this person is saying? Is this from God? Um, because the Bible even says that the, ugh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, by the way, this is my last translation, that when the children of God gather, obviously the enemy gathers. And there's a scripture that says that the devil disguises himself like the angel of light. He looks holy, he looks righteous. So I'm very careful when people godly because these are people that really break our hearts when people godly you know come our way and they're saying you know i'm worried about you why aren't you married you know you're knocking 30 or you're knocking 40 or whatever age 35 
these are the groups of people that I'm talking to because they're the ones that I get this question from the most. I'm not talking about you a fresh eyed, doe eyed 19 year old. I'm not talking about that and I'm not knocking on your age, okay? The Bible says let no man despise your youth. I'm not knocking on your age but I'm saying people who are, especially when it's getting to that 30 age that people get really nervous and really skittish. Um, don't make a mistake that you're going to regret the rest of your life because of society and your norms, because of people's pressure, because of their advice, especially Nigerian aunties. Can I just please tell you to mind your business? You, you have married. I don't know what marriage you have or what kind of relationship you're living with. Good for you. God, I, we bless God for your life. But can you please leave? <laughs> leave these young girls. Just leave them to God. Yes, we understand uh, the place for concern. Like, oh, you know, girl, you're knocking 40. What's going on? Should we start praying? Should we start fasting? Should we, what, what should we do? What's the next course of action? That's speaking in love. But the one where you come and you start, oh, Jesus. You know, by the time you finish this quote-unquote advice, the person is shedding tears. They are crying. They are suicidal. They're feeling like, what is my life? Because you are trying to give us advice or offload your own concern or your own disappointment, this is our own life. You've lived your own, you're still living your own, but this is our own life. And allow us, I'm just, this is a PSA, public service announcement to all these Nigeria aunties. My business, please, okay? Don't pressure people into the wrong marriage. Don't pressure people into the wrong lifestyle. Don't pressure people to fit your idea or your calendar or the timeline of what you thought would have happened to their lives. Everybody has a different timeline. Everybody has a different time when they're meant to peak, when they're meant to succeed, when they're meant to love, when you're supposed to marry and have kids and have, you know, have a great life. Everybody has their own individual timelines and God deals with us based on our individual timelines. So please, F yourself and exit, okay? I'm really passionate about that because I've had well, very well-meaning aunties, you know, and people who have no stake in my life and they're sharing their thoughts with me. I don't care about your thoughts. I didn't ask you for it. Do you understand? All right, so let me leave the aunties alone. I love y'all with all of my heart. Aunties and uncles, I love you. But we are respectfully saying no. Get. All right? Thank you so much. This is our lives. God has his own plan for us. I read in the message translation. I love that scripture. It says that the thoughts that you have towards me, God, there, there's plenteous as this grain of sand on the seashore. God is constantly thinking about me, thinking about us, thinking about how he's working our lives together for his good. And we're going to be patient with that. All right. I just want to address the aunties. And I also want to go back to my beautiful sisters out there, beautiful men who are, you know, they're, they're getting worried, getting anxious. And I'm just saying, please don't be anxious. Anything you make in haste, in anything you do in haste is sin. This is coming from someone that has almost made multiple mistakes. If not for God, I would not be here right now. Anything, any decision is the same thing when someone tries to sell you a car or sell you a house and if they put a timeline on it like, no, 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 just know that you're not going to make the right decision. Anything you do in haste is sin. I promise you. Please don't be anxious. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to myself. But please relax. Like, take a breather. For me, the way I was able to do that was honestly on following sites like this, like Bella Niger Weddings. And I'm not knocking on them. Seriously, I had to get off things like Pinterest. Anything that gets me spiraling down a hole, anyone that gets me spiraling down a hole, especially this marital black hole, I cut them off. I'm very deliberate to cut them off. Forget people who are trying to rush you into a relationship or rush you into... No. God is the one who gives a wife. Bible says it's, it's God. Yes, um, the, the, the scripture that says your father can leave you a good inheritance, but a good wife is from the Lord. God is the one. God, not your auntie, not, not people and their schemes and their plans. God, God is at the center of this. And I'm going to keep God where he is. Immediately I put another auntie, another, I put an uncle in that place where God is. Everything goes down the drain. 
So brothers and sisters, especially brothers, I'm talking to you. Sisters too, you know I'm talking to you because I'm a girl. Let's relax. If I ballet, calm down. God is working everything out for your good. Don't get pressured into a horrible relationship that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. Another way someone you know, spawned this for me was, he was like, whoever you marry, you're going to affect your children. You can affect your, child, affect your children positively or negatively. It depends on what kind of home you usher these children into. And if your goal is to get a spot on Bella Niger weddings, don't get sucked into all that mess. That's, that's, that's a big bunch of mess. Don't mortgage your future. Don't mortgage your destiny. See, your marital destiny is tied to almost every, your financial destiny, your marital destiny is tied to your spiritual destiny. Your marital destiny is like the center and it's tied to so many things. Don't mortgage that for 300 likes on your Instagram post that, oh, I said yes, no. Think about it, all right? That's all I have to say. God bless you. I love you. Have you? I'm oh, sorry. I kind of went on. Oh, I, I, I went. I went for it. I, I came today. I was ready today because I'm just tired. I'm tired of this mess. Like aunties and uncles, like no, I ask you, and she keep it moving, okay? Even like well-meaning friends, did I ask you? Did I tell you that I no? Keep it moving. This is me and the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.